<laughs> Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and I, I got Happy again. I got him to do a video with me again. Hello. So, it's a mess here, but there's a good reason for it. So, last videos you guys saw of any taste tests we did were the sodas. And, you know, in time of filming this, they haven't been uploaded yet, so I don't know how well they're going to do. But, um, we have a bunch of Disney tea. Like, we got this from Downtown Disney. And we originally got an, I think, a six-pack with, like, eight of them. Yep. But we found out there was actually more flavors. Yeah, a lot of them. So, we figured today we would do a part one because there are 12 of these. And kind of like the sodas, we are not going to do all of them in a day. Yep. So, we're doing part one today, and tomorrow you'll see part two. Uh, so today we're trying mango, blueberry, papaya, passion fruit, Earl Grey, jasmine, pomegranate. Now this won't be like a guessing thing. This is just basically going to be which one we like better. Mm -hmm. Now I put our personal favorites in our own personal mugs. This one is my Good Mythical Morning mug that I bought. It's got the mango flavor. And then from what I understand, hubby, you really like the blueberry. Yes. That's like your personal favorite. Blueberry. So I put it in the mug that he made uh, when we went to a place called Color Me Mine. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this kind of in order because that's how I did it. And obviously there's no labels to tell me which one is which. We are drinking these straight. We didn't add any sugar. We didn't add any milk. We didn't add anything. No sugar. No sugar. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we're going to have to taste these completely raw in their truest form. So okay. we're going to start with mango. Now, Hubby and I have been together nearly, well, at the time of you seeing this, we've been together two years. So we can drink from the same goddamn cup if we want to. Oh, yeah. So my personal favorite is mango. I'm going to be totally biased on this one. I already know what I'm going to rank it out of five. Duh. But just for the shit of it, I'm going to drink it anyways. Let me guess. It's a one. Shut up. You know, without the sugar, I don't really taste it. Seriously? It almost just tastes like hot water. That's what I've noticed with the mango one, though. Because even when I add the sugar, it still tastes like hot water. It doesn't really taste like mango. Like here, give it what? a give it a try. I'm not kidding. It's not that hot. I smell it. I smell it too, but I can't taste it. What do you mean you can't taste it? I could taste it a teensy bit at least. There's that little hint. I guess, but I mean like I'm used to eating like straight up mangoes. <laughs> so I'm expecting like that strong punch of mango. You know what I mean? You do taste it more with the sugar. I yeah. will admit that. But I could I hate to say it. it. You could taste it. I think with my mango one, I'm, I'm going to have to give it a one. To me, it just tastes like hot water. Wow. Jaw so I was right. <laughs> what are you going to give it? This is actually a four for me. This is actually good. Okay. I'm keeping track never, of everything on here. I never knew I would actually like tea without sugar. sugar. Well, you take coffee without your sugar a lot of the time. So only the black ones, like the dark roast. Only those, cause. What about the ones that are flavored? You sometimes take those without sugar. Only chocolate raspberry. Mm. That's it. All right, next one we're gonna be trying is blueberry. That that definitely smells like blueberry. Do you remember when we were like in the mall, and they had like the fall scents? Oh, and that, that strong <laughs> scent. We literally smelled the, four stories away. The scent. Like, not stories. The scent was freaking um blueberry pancakes or blueberry waffles, something like that. You could smell it from literally across the mall. It was. It was four stores away. Yeah, four That's stores away. That's the word I meant. Yeah. Stories. This smells really good. I taste that one a bit more than I tasted the the blue the oh. mango. You do taste this one more. It's a lot more of a stronger scent. But I don't know if these just haven't <sighs> steeped long enough or what. But the you tastes could... just aren't strong for me. It, sweetie, trust me, it did steep long enough. You could taste it. Um, I don't want to keep giving ones out, but I think just because this one had a stronger scent and all of that, I, I mean, like, I couldn't really mm. taste it, but it's a lot more prominent, so I'm going to give it a two. Five. I put the two on yours. <laughs> oh, dare you. There, there, I switched it. Okay, um, I think this one is the papaya passion fruit. Hang on a second. Papaya? That's papaya passion fruit. Okay. So I've had this one. I actually like it. It's really good, really sweet. But I think just because there's no sugar in here, I'm kind of losing it. But, you know, well, I wanted to do this raw because I don't want anything interfering. It's pretty good. That one's also kind of weak, too. 
that. I taste it. You taste it? My God, is are my taste buds shot? Cause I'm just tasting hot water. I mostly just taste the passion fruit, not the papaya. Okay. I taste the passion fruit. That one's a bit weaker for me. I think I'm gonna give that one a one. I just, ugh. It's not that I don't enjoy these teas. It's just the flavor for me just isn't there. For me, it's a three. Three. Comparing it to the mango and the blueberry. Okay. Next, we are trying the Earl Grey. I personally have never had the Earl Grey. I'm well, not looking forward to this. I've had the Earl Grey, but I've had it with like milk and sugar because it's a type of, you know, tea you'd have with milk and sugar. Ooh. That's got a nice smell to it. Is it? Yeah. I've never had Earl Grey without sugar. That's actually refreshing. The smell is there. I can actually taste yep. it. It kind of like lingers in the back of your throat. I think it tastes pretty good. It's very refreshing. This is the strongest taste. Yeah, I'm gonna give that one a four. I was expecting this one to not be that good, but... It's pretty good. It's actually good without sugar. Definitely gonna give that one a four. That one's really, really good. I'm with you with that one. Four. Four. All right, next up is Jasmine. I haven't had the Jasmine one, but Ooh. you have. For me, this one is gonna be a no-brainer for me. I've had that one without it's sugar. It definitely smells like the flower. That smells really nice. I like the smell of jasmine. Isn't that what you smell in like Soarin' Over the World when you go over the Taj mm -hmm. Mahal and you smell jasmine? That's what you smell. Ah, oh, it smells lovely. It's going to taste lovely too. The taste is there. The taste, like the Earl Grey, is definitely there. It's not as strong as I thought it was going to be, but the taste is there. And it's not like a bad taste. It's like a good floral taste in your mouth. For me, I'm going to give that a three. That Five. one's actually pretty good. Oh, okay. Put it down. <laughs> well, you got one more to try, and it's pomegranate. Oh, shit. Pomegranate. It smells like pomegranate. It, it's This one, I believe, is going to be the, the strongest out of the six, and that's because I think... I don't know why. Just pomegranate, to me, has always been the strongest taste that we have. That mm. is definitely the strongest taste and strongest smell. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, hits you in the face just... You know the smell of Sweet Factory? Of like a sweets the, shop or whatever? The candy shop. The one where you could put your own in a bag. Oh yeah, like any of those like candy stores. That's what that smells like to you? That's what that smells like to me. It's just that powerful sweet. That's when you go in there just... <laughs> <laughs> it hits you in the face with it. This tastes weird to me. To me that's a five. I love pomegranate. It's mm. there. I can taste it better than I can it's taste not, the rest. It's not... A bad one. It's just probably three for me. Three? Me. Okay, let's figure out what we thought of all of these. So mango is an overall five. Blueberry is an overall seven. Papaya passion fruit is an overall four. Earl Grey is an overall eight. Jasmine is an overall eight. And pomegranate is an overall eight. So we have a three-way tie for first, and that's between the jasmine the pomegranate, and the Earl Grey. I'm actually kind of surprised. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't think I'd like the Jasmine or the Earl Grey as much as I thought. I actually had no intention of liking the Earl Grey without the sugar. But it's good. It's actually good, especially the Jasmine. So in second place is the blueberry. That actually doesn't surprise me too much. Mm -hmm. In third place is mango. I'm so sad that I, I didn't like it without the sugar. That made me so sad. Because it's your favorite one. And in last place, papaya passion fruit. That's kind of sad. All right, guys, so that is it for today's tea taste test. This is, again, part one. Tomorrow you're seeing part two. Uh, tomorrow we are trying, let's see, mint chai, mad tea party blend, lemon honey chamomile, French vanilla, and English breakfast. Wow, these are, some of these are actually new to me. You said the French vanilla was pretty good, weirdly With enough. With sugar. They had to do them raw. Oh, God. Yeah, because French vanilla, when you see that, you would think coffee. Yeah, like not I'd normally... Tea. Yeah, exactly. But then I tried it, I was just like, ooh. It's actually pretty this good. It's actually pretty good. Well, damn, I can't wait to try them tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.